distinguished ladies and gentlemen, well, um, first of all, I would like to apologize for being late, but I was with my minister who, was, who is deputizing for the vice president to another event. But my former DPR, General Drame, was here during the whole program. He's an accomplished diplomat and military now. He is back into the army as the deputy chief of defense staff. And this is a man who participated in many peacekeeping missions, and he was very much involved in disarming the rebels in Sierra Leone. And I, he is very capable, so I, I, rather than saying anything, I think I will not venture to say anything because I was not here in the beginning, so I will give him the floor. To, uh, Thank you for your support from Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, I feel greatly honored and humbled to make these closing remarks on behalf of the Ambassador and by extension the Gambia Mission to the United Nations. Let me begin by thanking each and every one of you for having found time from a busy schedule to grace this occasion with your physical presence. It denotes the commitment and, of course, the special attachment you have to this very event. To the panelists, special tribute to each and every one of you for such an insightful and thought-provoking presentations that generate discussions during the process. The constructive engagements and purposeful discussion that ensued denotes how useful the whole discussion was about. And finally, experience has shown that if the girl's child is empowered through education, if they accord a special place within society, what a beautiful world we can have. A world that is consistent with peace, security, and of course, development. Remember, peace without security is not sustainable. And security without peace is not durable. And peace, security, and development, they're interwoven. You cannot treat one in isolation from the other. So I believe if women are given the right for position within society, what a beautiful world we can have. So I think we should encourage We should encourage and empower women so that they can take their rightful position within society and have a beautiful world that flourishes our collective aspirations as a United Nations. And thank you to each and every one of you. Thank you.